Well, hello everyone. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy the other videos on this channel. And please, if you do, like and subscribe. If you are a returning viewer, I hope you continue to enjoy the videos on this channel. Today's video is all about a review of filter wheels. I'm more specifically will be reviewing this filter wheel. It is a manual filter wheel by DWO. And before I get into it, I just want to give a quick primer on filter wheels. Now I have spoken about filter wheels before, but basically when doing astro photography via digital video cameras, you have two options. You can either do or use a monochromatic camera or a color camera. Both of them have pluses or minuses. When using a color camera, what you gain in terms of time in that you don't have to combine the images, the different wavelength of images during processing to create a color image, you lose in terms of the signal that you're getting by using a color camera. Whereas when using a monochromatic camera, you have to take the picture of the object in different wavelengths. And in doing that, you gain more signal, which provides you with a cleaner image. And you might be wondering, well, how come I just don't use a monochromatic camera? Well, as you will see later on in this video, depending on what, you're, what image you're taking or how long you're going to be taking it, it can take a really long time because you have to take the same image multiple times in different wavelengths. Well, let's get to the, the particular equipment today. And as I mentioned, this is a manual filter wheel. Now there are filter wheels that are done automatically, but this is a manual one. And how it works is when you get it, you will have to add the different lenses to it that correspond to a particular wavelength. So basically it might not be clear, but you have red, you have green, you have basically nothing. That's how you usually start with. Oh, this is green. Blue. And luminescence. And what you end up doing is that you'll take an image with using each filter, then combine the images into one image, and that will create a color image. Now, when I have used this, this particular filter wheel, it's pretty straightforward. The key thing that you have to know is it comes with a number, so you have to know what number corresponds to a particular filter. So what ended up happen, happening to me at one point is that I forgot what filter correspond to a particular number and I ended up taking the same image multiple times because I wasn't sure. And I didn't have the time, I didn't feel like opening it up and exposing it to the elements. And therefore, when using a manual filter wheel or even a, or automatic filter wheel, you have to know what number corresponds to a particular image. So therefore, this is luminescence and it corresponds to three. Another filter corresponds to four. Nothing is five. Green is one. Blue is two. And so on and so on. And you would go out, go out into the field, attach it to your camera. Not camera, I'm sorry. Attach it to your telescope. And then you go about taking images. And now I will show you that next. Well, okay. Now I had to take some time out to set up how I would take images in the night sky using my Nextar 8SE. But basically how this is set up is I have my Nextar on my 
ABX and on the elbow I have my filter wheel I have my monochromatic camera so basically all you would do is where you would put where you would normally put the eyepiece you put on the filter wheel first and then you put in your monochromatic camera you set it up and at this point you would connect it to your and it, it could be your laptop it could be your iPhone because ZWO does have a, a piece of equipment that will allow you to tie your or to connect your iPhone to the telescope in order to take in order to take images. But once this is all once this is all set up, you will go about taking images. Now you can kind of see what some of the criticisms or what some of the issues are with using a manual filter wheel. Because you would have to go and let me show you you have to go take and I have my laptop over here. You go set up set up everything, take the image, save it, and then go back. It's on two then I have to go to three, repeat the process, come back, go to four, repeat the process, go to five, repeat the process, go to six, all the while keeping the telescope in line with the particular object in the night sky. Now, for a planet, that's not so bad. Because you can take an image of a planet in 30 minutes to an hour, even less than that if you really if you really know what you're doing. But when it comes to deep space objects, which can take hours to get really good images, you can see that might become problematic because like what happened to me one night, I went out and I, and I was like, okay, was one red? Or was too red. I wasn't sure. And therefore I had to take multiple images. Now you can't just take it off, but I didn't feel like doing that. There's also there's also the issue of memory. When you're taking an image with a color camera, that's it. You don't have to take multiple images. Whereas when you're taking an image using a monochromatic camera with a filter wheel. You have to take the images, the same image, multiple times. And depending on how long you take that image, it could fill up whatever memory you have relatively quickly. And therefore, that's, an, that's, another, that's something to consider when going over to a monochromatic camera because you need to get, you need to get the filter wheel. You need, you need a filter wheel with a monochromatic camera. So when it comes to these types of pieces of equipment and you're trying to decide whether should I get a color camera or should I get a monochromatic camera there are pluses to minuses now for this particular filter wheel I will say that I like the filter wheel I like having a filter wheel I'm not sure if I would stick with a manual because some software or astrophotography software will allow you to use an automatic filter wheel from your laptop. But in the end, that's more of preference. But is the time you have to put in taking multiple images, sometimes for hours, worth the extra, extra signal, the, a cleaner image that you will receive at the back end when the processing all done worth it. That's something you will have to consider when going to a when going to a filter wheel and using a filter wheel. Now I have used this out in the field and I will say that it is more enjoyable taking the different images, putting them together, seeing everything come together and creating color image. But 
for those moments with, in which you don't want to spend that kind of time, it's just best to use a color camera and take the picture, clean it up, and then share it to everybody. So therefore, overall, I will say that having a filter wheel is a good per purchase. Plus, with a monochromatic camera, you need you, you kind of need both of them in order, in order to get the maximum benefit. One without the other is pretty much worthless. Like with, with what happened to me, in which I bought a monochromatic camera, I didn't have a filter wheel, I didn't have the different filters. I went out and imaged in the field, taking black and white images, and all of a sudden I was wondering how come my images are in black and white? How do I create or get them in color? Only to find out, I needed a filter wheel with the particular filters in involved. So, I hope, well, let me, let me back up. I will say that if you are into astrophotography and you only had to choose that you have a limited budget, then I would suggest you get a color camera because basically you can use that for everything. And it will give you, it will allow you to optimize your time. But as you get more into astrophotography, and there are some celestial objects that you really want to, to take good, clean, clear images of, then at that point, I will say, get the monochromatic camera, get the filter wheel. Whether you like hands-on, manually doing it, then you get the manual. If you want to do everything from your laptop, it might be cold, you might, might not want to get out there, then get the automatic filter wheel and then take it from there. And that is the video. I hope that you've enjoyed this particular review of the ZWO filter wheel, the pluses and the minuses, what they are, how to set it up. And I hope that you can take this, take this knowledge and apply it into your journey in astronomy. And I will see you again.